Well, after a long night of work, I, I found myself alerted to a post that uh, one of my friends made on Facebook. And it was a, it was a post, um, it was a Stars and Stripe article, and it was about uh, Chief Petty Officer Gallagher. Uh, some of you may know that in 2017, uh, Chief Petty Officer Gallagher was um, charged with the killing of two civilians, non-combatants, and one member of ISIS that was in captivity. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that struck me was, first of all, the post that uh, this friend of mine made. Um, let's see. The post that he made was, yay, one, one more for the good guys. <laughs> And when I read the post, uh, and then I read the article, I just, I couldn't believe it. So, Chief Petty Officer Gallagher is um, being acquitted of murder. Um, I mean, he was charged with, he's still, I mean, he's guilty of killing non-combatants. He's just been um, exonerated for murder. And so, with that, uh, he's going to... Uh, He's going to go free. Uh, he's going to end up... He basically walked out of court. And um, he's going to be free of uh, murder. After killing two civilians, that is. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. That's interesting to note. Yeah, too much. So, the thing that struck me was... The person that posted this has no problem with somebody being killed while in captivity. So, for instance, if we capture a, a, a member of ISIS and we have him in our custody, this, this person had no problem with killing him while he was in custody. And so I posted, I commented back to him, I said, I hope Chief Petty Officer Gallagher gets anal cancer and he dies slowly. And so he responded back uh, very sarcastically, oh, well, I'm sure the liberals will have a candlelit vigil for this Islamic individual or this member of ISIS. I'm sure everybody's going to be heartbroken. I said, well, congratulations. You've just made us no better than they are. Good job for making that obvious. So this person... Um, claims to be a fun, a, an evangelical Christian. He claims to know the Lord, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. And he has no problem with a prisoner being killed in custody. Now that struck me as, well, I mean, I, I wasn't shocked because I was, I was pretty much raised with this. So I, I kind of know where it comes from. Uh, just, you know, wipe them all off the face of the earth. Who cares? Who cares about them, right? But I'm going to tell you something, and this is going to go to all uh, the fundamentalist Christian motherfuckers in my friends list. If you're okay with the murder and just killing of non-combatants, number one, number two, the killing of prisoners, then do not talk to me about the sanctity of life. Do not talk to me about your pro-life stance, your conviction of being pro-life. I don't want to hear it at this point. If you're for uh, just the senseless killing, let's just wipe them off the, off the map and who, who gives a shit. I, I don't want to hear about how pro-life you are because that is absolutely disgusting. Hey, Kevin and Nilesh. That is absolutely disgusting to me that you could have an attitude where it's okay to kill somebody that, that is uh, basically defenseless and has been neutralized. And I'm sure that, that this same person that made this post 
has no problems with killing certain members of the of our community or as we know it death by cops so for instance if if a cop fears for his life he can just go ahead and um yes it is a failure of justice that's for sure um it, it's just it's ridiculous what, what what goes on this in this country and this same person is going to point a finger at me and say how dare you be pro-choice? How dare you um, have the opinion that a woman should be allowed to carry to term or not? But they see no problem with um, people like Pe Chief Petty Officer Gallagher shooting non-combatants. What is even worse is he posed for pictures with these dead corpses. This is how deranged and psychotic this individual is. And he's serving in our military and is allowed to carry a gun. This motherfucker uh, posed for pictures and laughed about it. And this is what incriminated him. What, what text messages that he sent out. He sent text messages with him posing besides corpses of, of the people that he shot and killed. This is the deranged mentality we have in this country. This is, this, is, this is absolutely sickening. And this Christian posts this article and says, Yay! This is, good. This is a good one for the good guys. I don't think we're the good guys anymore. I don't think we're the good guys. I'm starting to, I'm starting to wonder if maybe we are the bad guys. We are the ones who are psychotic. We are the ones who are sociopaths. You know, we're the ones that, I mean, what kind of a deranged mind kills somebody and then poses for pictures as if he had uh, went to Africa on a safari and shot some wild animal? Yeah, I mean, what kind of a person does that? What kind of a person um, shoot, I mean... We already hear stories of um, soldiers that come back from war and have PTSD. Uh, they have uh, psychological breaks from just being um, just being surrounded with this day in and day out. Um, and then they come back damaged. I, I have to wonder if people are already damaged and then they go into... Uh, conflict zones and they have no problems with shooting at civilians. They have no problems killing non-combatants all because they're not of our tribe. We have, we have a right to wipe them off the face of the earth. We have a right to kill these people. What kind of a fucking sick, what kind of a fucked up mentality do you have to have where you feel justified not only in killing a, an unarmed non-combatant, but posing for pictures. And, oh, and then having a hunting knife and saying, oh, I got this one with my hunting knife. Read the article that I posted and tell me if this guy, if you feel comfortable with somebody like this walking the streets of our country. Read this article and tell me if you feel comfortable. Would you want this person as your neighbor? Would you want somebody that has no problems killing civilians overseas, laughing about it, taking pictures and sending them in text messages, would you want somebody like this living next door to you? Ask yourself that. Would you have any problem whatsoever? Would you want to meet this person in, in a dark alley somewhere? Would you want to run into this person at the grocery store? This is a deranged individual we're talking. This guy is 40 plus years old. And this guy is absolutely out of his mind. If he thinks that it's okay to kill civilians overseas, laugh about it, take pictures, and send them in text messages. This is what we're dealing with. And he today is a free man. He's walked out of court because he was... Um, it was ruled he's not guilty of murder.
They may charge him with a few misdemeanors as far as posing with corpses, but uh, but killing them? No, it's okay. It's totally justified. It's okay. He shot civilians. Eh, we won't worry about that. Read this article and tell me if you think this is somebody you'd want to live next door to. We, we I, I, I don't know. And, and I guarantee you, if we sat down with this... Oh, and he also thanks God for the verdict that he that, that was delivered to him. He, he credits this to God. Well, Chief Petty Officer Gallagher, you've got a fucked up God. If you think your God condones what you did... You have one fucked up God, and you can fuck yourself with him. You can roll him up in a ball and fuck yourself with him. And for that, and for this Christian who who posted this, you can go fuck yourself too. Because I'll tell you what, people like you give Christianity a bad name. And I hope you watch this video. I tagged you in it. I hope you watch this video. And I don't want to hear another word out of your fucking whore mouth about you being pro-life. If you think it's okay what this chief petty officer did, I, I, I don't want to hear how pro-life you are. I don't want to hear about your sanctity, the, the sanctity of life. And if and for you to go after a woman who has elected to have an abortion and you're going to say, oh, that's just terrible. That's murder. That's oh, that's just terrible. Oh, hi, Natasha. I'm having a rant about a post that one of my Facebook friends made and I'm just addressing it. Sorry that you have to hear this, but um, I'm just responding to a post that I just saw tonight right before I left work. I'm supposed to be unwinding after work, and here I am, ranting like a madman. But no, these are my thoughts, and this is where I'm at. And like I said, I uh, any, of, any of you fundamentalist Christians that have no problem with what just took place, um, read the article first. I have it post in the description. Read the article, and um, you tell me. You tell me what if 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 you're comfortable with somebody like this walking the streets. I'll tell you what. I certainly am not. But that's just me. Well, anyway, this is the Angry Chipmunk signing off. Thank you for bearing with me and listening to me rant. Have a good night or a good morning.